Welcome to May's Diabetes Technology Report. In this video, I'll get you up to speed on what happened in the diabetes technology world over the last month, and this includes Sugar Beet, first non invasive CGM has been C marked. Has needle free glucose monitoring error just begun? Now, don't get too excited, it's not a Dexcom replacement, but still interesting. This might be another story repeating itself, but we should know more soon. Product launch in the UK and Germany planned for the next quarter. Also, it's that time of year again, investors calls. Abbott told their investors that they work in on Freestyle Libre 3, that Libre 2 is currently with FDA. Dexcom talked about G7. Inchlet had their investors calls. Basically, everyone had. More on that later. Beta Bionics started home clinical trials of the Bionic Pancreas system. First ever system with both insulin and glucagon. This and so much more is coming your way. Diabetes technology, artificial pancreas, implantable CGMs, insulin pens, closed loop systems. We are not waiting. Now, I just want to explain this. Uh, my live glucose level is not here today because five minutes before recording this video, I realized that I don't have my Spike for iPad app installed on my iPad and I do not have the time to set it all up at the moment. Uh, so that's just a lovely alpaca for you. Hope you like it. So let's start with sugar beets. Now, let's remember we have been here before. A number of companies launched a non-invasive glucose monitoring products in the past and they all either failed to deliver or if they did deliver an actual product, it, it didn't work well and everyone's skin got burned. But on 29th of May, first non-invasive CGM has been C-marked. Non-invasive means that there is nothing going through the skin, like with finger pricks or current CGMs. It is just a patch that you stick on your body and you get CGM data. So think nicotine patch but CGM. There is still not a lot of detail on the actual technology behind it. I mean, they say that they have over 70 patents approved with further 30 pending and they anticipate filling another 60. So, oh boy, haven't they just patented this thing? So the website says that passing a mild electric current across the skin, sugar beet painlessly draws a small amount of glucose molecules out of the interstitial fluid, which naturally sits just below the top layer of skin into a chamber within the patch. One patch lasts for 24 hours and it uses a Bluetooth transmitter to send your CGM data to your smartphone just like a normal CGM would. In terms of accuracy, now we measure accuracy in CGMs based on something called MARD. Basically, the lower your MARD is, the more accurate the CGM is. Sugar Beet's overall MARD is 13.5% with one calibration. They claim that it's 11.9%, but that only applies to a fraction of the results. So, 13.4%. Let's use Dexcom G6 to compare. G6's MARD is 9%. Sugar Beet's product launch in UK and Germany is planned for next quarter. Let's hope it actually makes it to market so I can try it out. Now let's talk about investors' calls. Now we have talked about them before. From time to time, companies like to tell their investors what they're working on to keep them happy, to keep them impressed. And they are long, long scripts. If you want to read more about all of them, uh, I'm going to put links to all sources in the description as always. But here are my personal highlights. Now, before I start, sit down and possibly hydrate. Abbott said that Libre 2 has already been submitted to the FDA so that it can be sold in the United States. They have submitted it as an ICGM. Also, they said that Libre 3 has been in development for some time. Dexcom said that G7 is on track for late 2020 or early 2021 launch. Dexcom is also working hard on increasing production of the G6 to launch in even more countries around the world. Tadem said that they will be launching a smartphone app this summer, which will work as a secondary display for the T-Slim X2 insulin pump. So all alarms will be sent to your smartphone. This app will get new features over time and will work as a full control app for the T-Sport patch pump that Tandem is working on. Control IQ, which is give me more insulin when I'm high, give me less insulin when I'm low system, will be submitted for US FDA approval in July. Insulin said that they continue to support Tidepool's development effort focused on getting open source, iOS based loop app and algorithm approved by the FDA and Omnipod Dash is coming to Europe soon, probably in 2020. Okay, so now some Beta Bionics news. They have been working on First Bionic Pancreas, which is a system which delivers both insulin and glucagon. So it basically works like a human pancreas. P. 
period. And they just started doing home clinical trials. This is when patients were at home. This is a significant step forward as it shows that this product is safe. So that's it for this month's diabetes technology report. Hope you liked it. Now, I am so incredibly interested to hear your take on all of these updates, especially sugar beets, that no needle uh, CGM patch. Um, do you like it? Um, do you think they're actually going to make it to market? Or do you think it's just another one of those companies that will never make it to market? Um, and would you get one if you could? Let me know in the comments. Um, speaking of comments, thank you so much for all of your lovely comments about my university exams. They went well um, and, and I'm quite happy with, with how they went. Um, uh, yeah, so thanks so much for that. And I actually finished editing my ATTD vlog video. Um, I was meant to kind of upload it on the 29th or the 30th, but um, sugar beets um, non-invasive CGM thing got approved yesterday. Today is the 30th when I'm recording this and you're watching this on the 20th on the last day of the month on the 31st. Um, so I was busy researching that company um, in depth and kind of reading the announcements and things. So but I'm gonna up upload it in the next couple of days so stay tuned for that. And um, in case you're interested I am currently 9.3 and Alpaca is also saying hi. Uh, so take care, hope you're well, uh, have a good day and keep smiling. Bye bye.